This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Now, hopefully, Alexander Usyk versus Tyson Fury for Undisputed goes ahead. That would be fantastic. To finally get an Undisputed Heavyweight World Champion would be brilliant. No matter where it is or when it is. Get it done soon and next. Now, with the rants from Tyson Fury's dad, John Fury, and all other kind of things that's coming out, information that Tyson Fury was pricing himself out, if you're like asking for too much money from the Saudis, I think it's safe to say that because the Saudis have done deals with Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua a couple of times before, really what the Saudis want is Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua. With belts, without belts, I don't think it matters. I think the Saudis recognise Anthony Joshua as a huge commercial draw. It doesn't matter what Tyson Fury does or Anthony Joshua does. You put them both in the ring, people are going to stand still and watch it. They're going to make time. They're going to buy the pay-per-view. It doesn't matter if Tyson Fury loses to Alexander Usyk next. It doesn't matter if Anthony Joshua loses his next 10 fights. People will always want to watch Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua, Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury, however it is you want to say it. So if Tyson Fury wants to make the kind of money that however much it is that he's demanding that the Saudis deem is too much to be fighting Alexander Usyk, trust me, if he asked for that money to fight Anthony Joshua, they'd probably do it. Well, within reason. I mean, if... Tyson Fury was going to the Saudis asking for that half a billion he was talking about a couple of months ago, then no, okay. Um, no fighter's going to get that. Not Floyd Mayweather, not Canelo Alvarez. Nobody's going to get that from the Saudis, right? But Fury would certainly earn a record high payday. And currently, of course, yes, he would be the A-side to Anthony Joshua. And if he insists on a 60-40 split or whatever, go to Saudi after a 60-40 split. You're probably going to get it and probably make a hell of a lot of money. If Tyson Fury is all about the money, which of course it appears that he is, I don't. I, mean, I never did buy the whole I'm a Spartan and Anthony Joshua's a businessman and I'm a Spartan who will fight anybody. I don't care about money. I've got more than enough money to last several lifetimes and all that kind of stuff. No, he cares about money. Of course he does. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, just be honest about it. But I think that that's the fight that the world really wants. I said it. It doesn't matter if. Joshua loses, if Tyson Fury loses, if there's titles on the line or not. And I, and I said this probably two years ago. doesn't matter. You put them two in the ring, people will watch. They will watch. So hopefully at some point they get it done. Eddie Hearn was talking about how Anthony Joshua will fight Tyson Fury in the summer if the um, Alexander Usyk fight collapses. I'm not really sure why if that fight collapses because... Ultimately, Fury's going to be fighting on April the 29th anyway. So he's going to be free in the summer, no matter who he fights. And if he loses, he's going to be free in the summer. So if that's what Eddie Hearn really wants, I imagine he's probably going to make a push for that. I do. If not, then I imagine Anthony Joshua will probably end up fighting Filip Perkovic for the IBF interim World Heavyweight title. For reasons that I've explained in previous videos. So anyway, that's the fight that the Saudis really want. If Tyson Fury really wants to make the kind of money that apparently he's been asking for, it's the Anthony Joshua fight. It's probably the only fight on the planet that Tyson Fury can take that the Saudis will probably dig deep for that probably generational wealth, right? So anyway, let's see what happens. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.